Good morning guys, what's going on? So this morning we woke up in absolute paradise. We are staying at the Ladera Resort in St. Lucia and our view is absolutely amazing. We're staying in a room that has three walls and then this back is completely open. We have our own private pool and this is our view. Absolutely spectacular. Vic, tell us what we got going on here. So you got the Caribbean Sea right there and then you have these two structures called the pittens. That is the petite pitten and the gross pitten over there. And honestly, the most incredible view I've ever seen. Absolutely breathtaking. It's nothing I've ever seen. We were looking at pictures before we came here and the pictures don't do it justice no. whatsoever. Looking out over this view, it almost looks fake. Like there's like a giant wallpaper there. It it's, looks like a projector of just perfection. <laughs> it's absolutely unbelievable. This place is so beautiful. We're on a volcanic island and it's just this luscious green landscape. And then you have the ocean it's just the most incredible, breathtaking view I've ever seen. So yesterday when we got here, it was pretty cloudy, but it is absolutely beautiful now. The sun's out, no clouds. So we're gonna, first thing we're doing today is going on a hike. So I will see you on the trail. Well, the last thing I said was that it was a beautiful sunny day <laughs> and the whole climb up this hill, it's been raining on and off, but it's still absolutely beautiful. We made it to the top of the hill. We're about a thousand feet up mm -hmm. and we have the best view of the Pittens right now. I think the best view on the whole island. It's breathtaking. Check it out. Like you want to climb that next? I don't know. We might need to hit the gym a little harder to get to that top. <laughs> <laughs> So down at the bottom between those mountains is actually Sugar Beach. And I'm guessing it's called Sugar Beach because the sand is literally looks pure white. So it looks like the reef is just outside of the beach. So we're actually gonna try to snorkel and go off the beach later today. So hopefully the weather stays nice so we can do that. But I don't know if you can tell, but it really does look like the reef is, I don't know, less than 20 feet off of the beach down there. So we actually have our tour guide Houston showing us around and we're gonna go to a different part of the mountain to get a different view of the mountains behind us. Whoa, I got a bunch of stickers on my legs. Well, Vic, what did you do to me? I'm sorry, I asked Brooke to grab the drone and the drone blades Although Actually, they're plastic, you didn't ask me. I you offered. <laughs> I insisted. Yes, you did. But I took off the top of my finger. I think. Poor girl. Not sure how bad it is yet, but we'll see. Where are you gonna land it? On the ground. These things are dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We only have one injury. Time to go back down. So this giant tree behind me is actually a mango tree. I've seen a lot of mango trees, but none this big. This is insane. This is the biggest mango tree, biggest and oldest mango tree on the island, and it still bears fruit during season. Check this thing out. Look how big that is. 200 years old? Wow. All right, so we just finished our hike up the trail on the resort and it was really pretty. And what's really cool is they actually get all of their fruits and vegetables that they have and at the flowers. restaurant. And the flowers like in the room and everything 
right off the resort on those trails and it's beautiful the views of the mountains were just insane wasn't it yeah plus our tour guide taught us a lot he yes. was a he's a local and he's lived here his whole life so every plant flower tree he was like yeah. this is what this is this is what this is yeah he was awesome but we had a ton of fun and now we're gonna try to go down to the beach and check that out possibly do some snorkeling yeah we'll see so see you there after our hike we made our way down to sugar beach they had a designated snorkeling spot right next to the side of a mountain the snorkeling spot is marked with buoys so the boats won't come close the water was crystal clear and so beautiful the first thing I noticed is how healthy the reef was. There were so many beautiful fish along the drop off that went from 10 feet to 20 feet and even to 30 feet in some spots. At first I was skeptical about diving this close to the beach and finding fish, but my opinion quickly changed at how beautiful this reef was. This reef was covered in sea urchins. I've never seen so many in one spot. These are one thing you don't want to touch. Their long, hollow spines are actually slightly venomous. Not enough to pose a serious threat, but they'll definitely make your day uncomfortable by causing swelling and pain. This is a species of feather duster worms. They feed on small food particles and plankton floating in the water. They actually have eyes, and when you get close to them, they retract back into their protective tube. The fact that we are diving between mountains right now is incredible. <laughs> the only time I've ever seen mountains is when snow, like snowing, so the fact that we're diving next to them is awesome, isn't it? And it's probably the location, the water drops off so fast here. The it's of fish. so pretty. The water's yeah. crystal clear. Look at them. There's a huge difference <laughs> to us. Just look at this. It's just absolutely beautiful. So we're snorkeling at Sugar Beach right now. This pair of black and white striped fish are banded butterfly fish. They have very small mouths, which is perfect for scavenging reefs looking for worms and soft tissue on corals. So as I was saying, there was one thing on that reef that I've never seen before, and it was everywhere. And I found out that they're spaghetti worms. These long, skinny tentacles is the only part of the worm you can see, but hidden in the rock is actually the body of the worm that is five to six inches long. These tentacles can actually regenerate if broken or eaten by predators. This little guy is a peacock flounder. Adults can change color to help them blend in with the ocean bottom. But as flounders are developing, they're actually born with an eye on both sides of their body. And as they grow, one eye migrates to the other side of the head. This is a trumpet fish. They can grow up to three feet and they actually have specialized color cells that allow them to change color to better match their surroundings. This helps them in sneaking up on their prey such as shrimp and small fish. We were able to bring our mask and snorkels on the plane with us but couldn't fit our fins in our bag. I thought it would be fine to snorkel without them, but let me tell you, diving without fins is no joke. Yeah. 
I thought it was funny because everyone told us the water would be so warm we wouldn't want to get out. But being the Florida girl I am, I thought it was freezing. I got out and my teeth were chattering and I had to warm up in the sun. We found a local who was making angel fish from pieces of palm tree branches. It turned out great and he did it so fast. St. Lucia is an absolutely beautiful place and the Ladera Resort we stayed in can only be described as perfect. I can't wait to show you more from our trip, including the two best catches of my life. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. I promise you won't want to miss out.